Today I am going to discuss about the topic of sinusitis, though before I start my presentation I would like to all viewers to like share and subscribe my YouTube channel to get the latest update about upcoming videos so let us start with the presentation of sinusitis. Sinuses Four pairs of paranasal sinuses Frontal above eye and forehead bone maxillary and cheek bone under eyes ethmoid between eyes and nose sphenoid in center of skull behind nose and eyes. What are the sinuses? The sinuses are hollow air field sacs lined by mucous membrane. The ethmoid and maxillary sinuses are present at birth. The frontal sinus develops during the second year and the sphenoid sinus developed during the third year. Etiology. Age usually occur after the age of 15 years, but may affect even children age 5 years sex affect both sexes equally. Predisposing factors are nasal infection, nasal obstruction, nasal allergy, swimming, etc. Dental infection, fungal infection, trauma, chill, atmospheric population. Causative organism. Viral bacteria, respiratory tract organism like streptococci, pneumococci, haemophilus, influenza, gram negative bacilli like bovillus coli, bovillus necrodentalis. Pathophysiology. Catarrhal stage sinuses are normally sterile, but their proximity of nasopharyngeal flora allowed bacterial and viral inoculation following rhinitis. Exudation disease that abstract drainage can result in a reduced ability of the paranasal sinuses of function normally the sinus ostea become occluded leading to mucosal congestion. Purulent stage the mucociliary transport system becomes impaired leading to secretions and epithelial damage followed by decreased oxygen tension and subsequent bacterial growth. Stage of complications if the sinus orifices are blocked by swollen and mucosal lining the pus cannot enter the nose and builds up pressure inside the sinus cavities. Air trapped within a blocked sinus along with pus or other secretion may cause pressure on the sinus wall that can cause the intense pain of the sinus attack. Similarly when air is prevented from entering a paranasal sinus by a swollen and membrane at the opening a vacuum can be created that also causes pain. Stage of resolution infection may resolve depending on the virulence of the organism's resistance offered by the body and antibiotics administration. Subjective symptoms of sinusitis. History of urey or allergic rhinitis history of pressure changes pressure pain or tenderness over sinuses increased pain in the morning subsiding in the afternoon malaise headache low grade temperature. Persistent nasal discharge after purulent postnatal drip cough worsens at night mounting breathing snoring history of previous episodes of sinusitis sore throat or bad breath. Clinical presentations of sinusitis. Periorbital edema cellulitis nasal mucosa as reddened or swollen percussion or palpation tenderness over a sinus nasal discharge thick sometime yellow and green post nasal discharge in posterior pharynx swelling of tubinates boggy pale tubinates. Sign and Symptoms Ethmoid sinusitis behind the eyes nasal congestion with discharge for postnatal nasal mucus drip down the thorough behind the nose loss of smell tenderness when you touch the side of your nose. Pain or pressure around the inner corner of the eye or down one side of the nose headache in the temple of surrounding the eyes pain or pressure symptoms worse when coughing straining or lying on the back and better when the heads is upright. Maxillary sinusitis behind the cheekbones pain across the cheekbone under eye around the eye or around the upper teeth pain or pressure on one side or both tender red or swollen cheekbone pain and pressure symptoms worse with the head upright and better by reclining Nasal discharge or post-nasal drip fever common Frontal sinusitis behind forehead one or both sides severe headache in the forehead fever common pain worse when reclining and better with the head upright nasal discharge or post-nasal drip Sphenoid sinusitis behind the eyes deep headache with pain behind and on top of the head across the forehead and behind the eye fever common pain worse when lying on the back or bending forward. Double vision or vision disturbance if pressure extend into the brain nasal discharge or post nasal drip. Laboratory tests. Blood test to rule out condition associated with sinusitis like an immune deficiency disorder or to rule out cystic fibrosis. Test on the material that is inside your sinuses to look for bacterial or fungal infection. Biopsy taking a small sample of the membranes lining of the nose and sinuses to find out the health of the cell lining these cavities. Differential diagnosis. Allergic rhinitis non-allergic rhinitis drug induced retinitis nasal polyps dental abscess carcinoma of sinus cluster headache structural defects septum deviation nasal foreign body. 
Pharmacological plane of care. Amoxicillin 90 mg bid for 10 days or azithromycin 12 mg for 5 days penicillin allergy. Paracetamol 650 mg every 6 hours salt water gargle. Physiotherapy management. Perhaps the present best known from the therapy is nebulization. You can be made of a compressor type or ultrasonic nebulizer. Physiological saline solution are nebulized which has a hydrating effect on the mucus in the sinus cavities. Easel cannulite can be used or in the case of an ultrasonic nebulizer that rate of flow is set at high. Laser therapy is used directly over the sinus cavity to reduce inflammation of the mucosal lining of the sinus. Alternatively ultrasound therapy may use two sound waves conducted through a hypoallergenic gel to reduce inflammation of the mucosal lining as well as to loosen the accumulated mucus. Fairly new option is called Rhinoflow therapy which is basically a Micronist endonasotracheal wash. Rhinoflow is a specific compressor Micronisa chamber system used for the treatment of disease of the upper respiratory tract where catarrh mucus or purulent and crusty secretion are present. Patient education. Avoid allergy triggers antihistamine or nasal corticosteroids eat fruits and vegetables reduce stress wash hand and maintain hygiene avoid smoke and population hydration. Thank you for watching my video. And for any other information you can message me on my Insta ID First Physio.